Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us once again. And I have my favorite guest here. This is uh, Andrea Burkhart. Uh, Andrea, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Has anything happened um, in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, legal uh, situation between since uh, since the last time we talked? So the, the plan bar is a process in Virginia to move to dismiss a case as a matter of law. Basically, you're saying for legal reasons, this case can't go forward regardless of what the facts are. And the legal reason given by Amber Heard is there was a trial in the UK over whether or not Johnny Depp was a wife beater. Therefore, that issue's already been litigated. We uh, should be litigating it again here in Virginia. Now, oh, that's the suite of Amber Heard. She's trying to save the court some time and and yeah, isn't, 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 right? isn't she, oh. isn't she a, a real public savior? And so... Ben Chu, you know, Johnny's litigation attorney, um, filed his response to that request last week, and uh, it is a very strong response. Um, points out uh, among just the, the legal shortcomings, which are technical and boring, I won't bore people with. You can check out my Twitter feed if you're interested in really boring legal analysis of these issues. But uh, he points out things like the fact that Amber Heard, because she wasn't a party in uh, the UK, she got to play fast and loose with discovery. She wasn't subject to full discovery. Exactly. She got to cherry pick what she produced. Um, she got to sit in, uh, you know, on the trial. Uh, in other words, if that, trial, if that trial, real, if the UK trial had really been about uh, getting to the heart of, you know, whether or not she was telling the truth or not, then she 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 should have been treated uh, differently than she was. And she had an easy ride in that UK trial, right? Sure. She, she, she was only challenged with whatever Johnny Depp already had in his possession or whatever she chose to hand over to NGN. And I'm sure you can imagine that what she chose to hand over <laughs> was the stuff she picked to be most right. beneficial to her in her position. So the Virginia trial is obviously going to be a very different situation, substantial discovery that's happened since then. One of the things Ben Chu pointed out is that included in the subsequent discovery is, is the proof that she did apparently lie to the UK court about having donated her entire $7 million divorce settlement. Um, so there will be a reply by Elaine. I think uh, Elaine is Amber Heard's lawyer and uh, that's due. It may have been due today. Uh, we, we don't always get them uploaded very quickly, but then there will be hearing on that at the end of the month. We're not expecting there to be an immediate decision on uh, processes like this. Typically what the judge will do is hold the hearing, hear what people have to say, and um, take the issue under, under advisement, which basically means they're going to think about it, review the briefing, review the law, and then they'll issue a formal written decision um, that can lay out you know, the basis for their conclusions. So uh, that's ongoing and uh, stay tuned. Well, that's, that's good to know. Thank you. Um... Any, uh, before my last question, any uh, um, gut response to uh, Amber Heard having a baby? You have any, you have any thoughts on that? Uh, Non-legal, you know, perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have children myself. I am child-free by choice. So it's hard for me to... I, I don't I don't like to judge those decisions that that other people make because I know they're coming from a different perspective and a different right. framework. I, I don't know Amber Heard uh, and I don't know what's in her heart, um, but it does really look exceedingly convenient that she did it. Well, if she wanted people to take her and her motives seriously, then she should have chosen a better statement than the one that she chose, than the one that she wrote for Instagram, because uh, it really, however she meant it, it really came off in poor taste to basically turn the introduction of her child into a kind of a, a feminist, you know, manifest. Well, and just a me, 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 me. The whole thing decision. was about her and, and her decision. And How radical this moment is. It's radical. I understand, you know, self-centeredness when it comes to parenting. Okay. That's why I didn't do it. I understand. <laughs> I may not be a very good parent. And so, 
Ah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna struggle. Well, and it's one. it's like I said on Twitter. It's like um, I know that there's you know there's rarely a right time, a perfect time to have a child. But my God, when your life is basically in the situation she's in now, where your life is basically falling apart in front of your eyes and there are all of these unsavory um uh, possible futures in front of you and that's the time that you're going to pick to bring a, a child yeah. in the world it's not like she was rescuing you know some child she wasn't doing like an angelina jolie where at least she can say well you know i'm rescuing it from some shitty life it was going to have you know it's like no like you you just you're bringing a new life into into this shit show <laughs> that is amber heard's uh life i don't know but well okay